Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, apologies if you hear some background noise today. It's going to be for, probably for the whole day. I've got some people do some work here. So I try to um, minimize the background noise as much as possible with the technical features I have available. But there might be some drilling or whatever in the background, some voices. Um, but yeah, let's hope um, there won't be too much. So here in this um, video, we want to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has basically started a pullback exactly where we highlighted it should do it. Okay, so we talked about it yesterday and I explained to you that it would be ideal for Bitcoin to start basically a fourth wave pullback in this region here. Okay, so first of all, um, let's talk about the wider structure for Bitcoin. Let's talk about the wider structure. Bitcoin is obviously in this, yeah, still what looks to me corrective looking structure. So the idea is that on the 13th 14th of march a third wave topped and that we're now in this sort of fourth wave pullback and this fourth wave okay it could have completed it could have completed in the yellow count in this scenario we would be tracking a diagonal pattern to the upside these are typically not very reliable patterns so it's worth watching for them not necessarily to expect them it's like very balanced probabilities however there are very clear invalidation points that come with these scenarios okay so the yellow count is something that i have um sort of as plan b of course the low could be in we reached the support zone we reached the trend reversal zone already here around the 20th of march and of course the next wave to the upside you know adk plus could be unfolding it is essentially a bullish structure that we're dealing with here we're in a bull market okay nothing has changed support area is defined hasn't changed in a month between 61.8k and 50.7k i'm not saying we come down to 50.7k actually i find that quite um unrealistic at the moment not impossible of course anything is possible it's just a matter of probabilities and at the moment probabilities do not suggest that we come down to 50.7k that's not only because you know I might think it's unrealistic. No, also the internal projections of this structure. I mean, it's all mathematics, um, Fibonacci extensions, retracements, and the rules and guidelines of Elliott Wave. Mm, they don't project it down there. I mean, it can it, it can always happen, right? I mean, structures do break, but in the current structure, that would be very, very unlikely, I should say, okay? So we are probably dealing with this um, wave four correction right now um, within the white count, however. So I'm leaning towards the white count. For me, it's a bit like, yeah, the low could be in. If it rallies, great, um, because I've got my core position. Ideally, most people have their core positions, so it's a win-win. If it comes back into the support region, it might be useful for accumulation again. So strategy should be clear. I always encourage people to have a plan for both scenarios. And this one is crystal clear. I mean, dips can be used for purchases, in my opinion. Now, that's no financial advice. It's just some tactical thoughts, actually, um, strategic thoughts for those two scenarios. I mean, if there is a dip because we're in a bullish scenario, even if the white count plays out and we dip back into the orange support region, I think it's pre pretty clear that it could be used as um, accumulation, let's say, strategy or for accumulation to find an entry. Whereas if we just rally, well, ideally, people who wanted to buy bought here. And we did have two micro support areas in this correction, which did hold as well. One was here, which was completely filled in. And one was here. So as I always say, don't trade the counts, trade the levels. Those two trades would have... Um, allowed for nice positions but that all depends on your own commitment and you know if you want to trade these shorter time frames many people don't so either way we're in the next support area now and this is now where the air gets a bit thinner because um, again the yellow count is possible but it needs to prove itself first first of all the one that gets tested first is the white count in this scenario the wave four didn't form a low yet and the wave four is actually still unfolding and it would unfold as an A, B, C structure. And the B wave rally, okay, consists of an A, B, C structure itself. So we're likely now in the wave C of the B wave. And that's what we want to focus on in this video when we look at the short term. Oops. So, um, so yesterday in the video, I highlighted that it would be an ideal spot to start that fourth wave pullback. You might ask, what kind of fourth wave is that? Well, we're dealing with a C wave. A C wave is a five wave move and it could be a diagonal pattern. It's certainly not an impulse. Diagonals um, often yeah, follow similar structures here. So we have a one, two, 
setup and then we had a three, four. So the way four might be unfolding right now and one more high would be preferred at least as long as we're holding 67,944. So if we break below that level, so below 67,944, I would change my perspective and cannot expect any more one more high in this structure. It would be the first indication, first evidence that a top has formed. However, it is possible that if we break below 67,944, that the um, yellow count is actually unfolding and that this is actually an A wave. We're getting a B wave pullback and then a C wave rally in wave um, three. Okay, so but I'm following primarily the white count, which means a deep pullback could still be yellow, could still allow for the yellow count, um, but that would be completely invalidated with a break below 64,480. So we have basically two key levels to watch, 67,944, that's, you couldn't it's not an invalidation point for the white count but it gets very unlikely then and the uh, yellow count will get invalidated below 64,000 yeah okay 5 560 um 64,560 the thing is the white count what would a break below 67,944 would not really invalidate um the white count, okay, as I said, it would make it less likely that we get one more high, but I would then call the B wave topped. Essentially in the white count, it's probable that a C wave to the downside starts at some point. It's not expected yet, but if we break support, that's what I would be looking for, yeah? And it's essentially just, you know, to, to identify, okay, have we bottomed or not? It's possible. It's not confirmed. It's an unreliable structure, that yellow one, but it's of course possible. So overall, we're in a bullish structure. The parameters have been very clearly defined. If we get one more high, ideally the price will reach 76,270. To confirm that the fifth wave to the upside is unfolding, I first want to see a rally out of the orange support zone to the upside and want the price to break above the last resistance level at around 72,000. 850 there yeah um but yeah i think the situation overall hasn't changed but we are now in this wave for pullback most likely mm, three waves down at the moment it might get one more low support levels are clear i mean the the, the level where the price found support already is 69,750, and um, if we get one more low it's 68,840 that we need to be watching for so if we now get a bit of a rally, as I said, a break out of the orange zone to the upside would be helpful to determine that a low has formed. Then next micro resistance is at 71,650 and then the B wave high at 72,040. So yeah, that's sort of what I'm watching for um, on the Bitcoin chart. If you want to stay up to date, you can also follow us on Twitter, X Network. I did post that earlier today already that the price is likely forming that healthy wave for and uh, here you get some additional updates, stuff about mindset. Just make sure that you follow our official channel only, the official um, channel. But you see there's lots of content on there as well. And yeah, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.